Good morning Aries and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general reading Aries. If this reading resonates with your current situation please like this video share this video with anyone who needs to hear the message and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so this video can be good for sun moon rising and venus Aryan placements and to the cross watchers checking in on an aries in your life feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you otherwise i am open to taking personal bookings and all the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section below. Okay, all right, Aries, we're going to open up the reading with some Twin Flame Oracle cards. Just to take a look at the energy between you and your person currently, we're going to expand using the tarot where we're going to take a look at your person's energy and your energy and towards the end of the reading we will grab some oracle cards to close out the reading as last parting messages or advice whichever should come first okay thank you for your patience aries i haven't been well um, but here i am the, the day looks beautiful outside it's sunny i'm feeling in good spirits again so thank you for your patience it really does mean the world and thank you for your support also just by even clicking on and viewing this video thank you aries hope you've all been well let's dive on into the current energies the first card coming through is wisdom okay we've got insight perceptive Straight away, I'm getting high priestess energy here coming in, high priestess energy. Okay. So Aries, you might be in a situation right now where you can read through your person okay it's like whatever they're not telling you whatever they're not saying you're already picking up the vibes okay you're already plugged in you're already you're already tuned in to what is going on there you might just be coming into the reading looking for confirmation but I do want to say here, Aries, whatever you're picking up intuitively around your person is bang on. Okay, it's bang on. Okay, what have we got here? Accountable. Second card coming through is accountable. It says responsible, liable. Okay, what am I picking up here? We will clarify that accountable, responsible. It's like you have insight into your person and you're waiting for them to own up to something. You're waiting for them to own up to their actions or lack of action magnetic appealing irresistible okay there's sun energy coming in here so you could be dealing with another fire sign hmm let's clarify There is someone here that you're attracted to. There is someone here that you are drawn to. Ah, but you're waiting for them to admit. Okay, it's like you're waiting for this person to admit their interest in you or admit their feelings for you here. You're just like, you're waiting for them to admit it. 
it's like with the wisdom card you already you can already sense that they're keen on you or they're interested in you um, you may have with this wisdom card gotten secondhand information from a third party like a friend or a family member that is connected to this person but you're waiting for this person with the accountable card you're waiting for them to own up own up to it um, you're waiting for them to announce it but it's like with the wisdom card you already know the answer you already know so i want to say here aries that whatever you're intuitively picking up when it comes to this person is bang on okay with the magnetic card here they've been giving you indicators of interest you're just waiting for this person because i'm seeing a clock here you're just waiting for them to admit it can we clarify this accountable card I just want to clarify, I just want to expand on that. Spirit, tell us more. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, see, you're a wish fulfillment for this person. You're, you're a wish fulfillment, but with it in reverse, they're not admitting this to you just yet. Or they haven't. They haven't as yet. Mm. yeah okay what else am i getting here aries um hang 10 with me for a moment there's also someone here that you're thinking about okay you've got you've got your sights set on someone here but it appears with the Nine of Cups that they are perhaps maybe focusing on themselves right now. Mm. And you could be waiting for some kind of an apology from this person. What have we got here yeah there, there you go knight of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces yeah you're waiting for the you're waiting to hear from this person for some of you arians okay you're waiting to hear from this person you're waiting for this person to come forward and ask you out on a date or because they have shown indicators of interest okay they have been on some level romantic with you but you're waiting for them to come out of um i feel like they've withdrawn to focus on themselves but you're waiting for them to come forward like you're waiting for them to present themselves maybe you're waiting for them to make this love offer okay you're waiting for them to announce their romantic feelings for you interesting okay let's unpack this reading shall we um let's use the light seers tarot and we'll take a look a closer look at your person's energy aries we'll take a closer look at your person's energy all right, Spirit, what is it that Aries needs to know when it comes to the person that they're dealing with? What is it that Aries needs to know? Show us the energy of the person. Oh, first card, the tower. The tower card. Spirit, tell us more. Oh, six of pentacles. Okay, Six of Pentacles is my equal give and take. It's my relationship card. The tower would indicate that there are there is a shift and a change taking place 
in regards to your person's energy look at this the emperor big aries energy you could be dealing with another aries but you've got someone here who is more than likely to own up to why they haven't been present or why they haven't been available um yeah they're going to give you reasons okay they're going to give you uh, solid and good reasons as to why they haven't been showing up in the connection in the way that you would like them to. I do feel with the emperor here that this person that you're dealing with uh, is responsible for something, okay? The emperor to me is an energy of someone who is a leader, who maybe owns their own business, who has a lot of responsibilities on his plate. I don't feel like they're coming in with uh, excuses. I'm not feeling that energy. So they're not coming in with excuses. I feel like they're coming in with valid and good reasons as to why they haven't been calling you or hanging out with you lately. Um, this is someone who is coming forward, okay, they're coming correct, they're coming forward uh, in a correct manner, uh, in a mature manner. I feel like there is a stable energy surrounding this person, very strong sexual energy coming in with this person also. They are very sexually attracted to you, they like what they see, they love your energy, they love your enthusiasm. Um, there's just a really good vibe coming in with this person. The tower would indicate that this person has been through some changes of late. Okay, I feel like there's been sort of a shift and change taking place in this person's world. Can we just clarify this tower, please, spirit? The tower also indicates to me, Aries, that there's going to be a shift in this person's energy. So like I said, if they have been sort of focusing on other things um, and not your relationship or not your connection, you're going to see a shift take place this week. And I feel like with the tower, it's going to be like a nice surprise. Oh, yeah, look at this. Queen of Swords came out in the reverse. Okay, this person has been maybe distant or detached. Maybe there's been very little to no communication, but I feel like with the Tower card, that's about to change. Okay, if they've been quiet with you, if they haven't been talking to you, if they haven't been as available with you, I feel like that's about to change. Yes. And, you know, the Queen of Swords is a lack of clarity, in, especially in the reverse, but you're going to get the clarity. You're going to get the clarity this week. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's, what else? What have we got at the bottom of the deck with this energy? Ooh, see? See? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Queen of Swords in the upright. You can't make that up, right? This is a lack of clarity. They're coming in off um, giving you clarity. Um, this is someone, though, that has been thinking about you. Okay, this is someone who has been thinking about you and your connection. And yeah, look at this. We've got the Eight of Pentacles underneath that. It's just that they have been inundated with obligations uh, and other work, um, commitments. Eight of Pentacles tells me here that this person has been focused on maybe the material world, their work, their job, their career, their family life, their home life. Like they, they've, they've been focusing on something here. They're going to let you in on it. Okay, they're going to let you in on it. Um, they're also with the Eight of Pentacles. I like the Eight of Pentacles because this is a consistent energy. So I feel like you're going to get more consistency coming in with this individual. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. And look at this, we've got the Five of Pentacles underneath that. So this tells me here that this person has been missing you. Okay, but they've had to, you know, sort out these eight pentacles first, but they have been missing you. And I feel like they will let you know that. Okay, they will let you in on that. Um, let's, let's expand on the six of pentacles. Tell us more about this six of pentacles. What's this six of pentacles? Which I feel like it, it's pretty straightforward, but let's just dive a little deeper. What's the Six of Pentacles in Aries person's energy? I saw the Ace of Swords in reverse. So yeah, they're going to come forward and talk to you. Okay. What have we got here? Yeah. They're going to come forward and talk to you. They're going to share what's been on their heart. They're going to share what's been on their mind. Okay, this person is going to come forward and offer to catch up, offer to see you, organize a romantic date, something of that nature. Uh, there's a kindness and there's a caring energy coming in with this person. There's an honest, sincere and genuine energy coming in with this person. Mm. They want to also come in and please you, okay? They want to please you. Because the, I see the Knight of Cups as an energy of a people pleaser. This is a people pleaser, so I just feel like they just want to get in your good books, okay? They don't want to get on the wrong side of you, Aries. They just they want to get on your good side, Okay, can we clarify the emperor? Can we clarify the emperor? Yeah, I saw the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles is it's a card where you can enjoy the finer things in life. I f so I feel like this person's going to treat you to somewhere special or something special, okay, uh, to make it up to you. Tell us more about this Emperor energy. Tell us more about this Emperor energy. Tell us more. I saw the tennis. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I saw the Ten of Swords in reverse, so it's like the wait is over. There's the Two of Cups. Look, I, I really do feel that this person, um, they see you as someone that they're very compatible with, with the Two of Cups. They, There's communication certainly on the cards here. Okay, there's a catch up on the cards. There's a let's meet up, let's catch up, let's reconnect. Um, it's been long overdue, but this person sees a, a partnership here with you. They can see themselves having a relationship here with you. Okay, so let's take a look and see what their actions will be very quickly. Spirit, what will this person's actions be towards Aries this week? What what are these what is this person's actions towards Aries? Show us this person's actions. Show us this person's actions. I like for the cards to um, pop out and, and fall out. So as frustrating as it, as it is or can be, I just like for them to fall out. So Spirit, tell us more about what action this person will take. And in saying that, I bet you know your cards fall out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Seven of Wands. Tell us more about this person's actions. Oh, this one wanted to come out. 
Ten of Wands. I feel like the Seven of Wands, it's it's a card of like fighting for the connection. I feel like, yeah, look at that judgment card. I feel like with the Seven of Wands and the judgment card, this is some kind of, this is like some form of apology. That's what it is. But look at the energy of the Seven of Wands. It's, it's genuine. It's sincere. Um... They want to make it up to you here. They want to make up for their lack of presence. Okay. They're also hoping and praying that you will forgive them. Also, we can see here, I hope, I hope Aries forgives me. I hope Aries accepts my apology. The Ten of Wands does tell me that there is a lot going on with this person. Okay, they, they've undertaken a lot or they do have a lot of responsibility. Could be their family, could be their business. Uh, whatever they've taken on here, they've taken on a lot. And it, it seems like they can manage it. But the Ten of Wands also tells me here that um, the action that they will take towards you is to go above and beyond to make it up to you. Okay, they're going above and beyond to, yeah, make it up to you. Can we clarify this judgment card, Spirit? Can we please clarify the judgment card in this person's actions? Can we please clarify the judgment card in this person's actions? What, what's, okay, what do we got here? Yeah, I'm telling you right now, that the Eight of Pentacles has come out twice now. So they're, they're going, to, these two cards straight away, I want to make it up to you, Aries. Let, let, me, let me prove it. Um, but they're going to show you with their actions though, because the Seven of Pentacles, this is, this is like the real world. Pentacles is the real world. It's tangible. You can touch it. You can smell it. You can see it, right? We can see a man hard at work. He's focused. So there's a beautiful alignment. There's a beautiful congruency coming in with this person's word and their actions. So I feel like you will appreciate that. You, you will appreciate that. Um, but it's like if they haven't been as present, well, that they are going to be. You're going to see more, more consistency, more effort coming in from this person. Okay. Tell us more about this Ten of Wands. Yeah, look at this. We've got the Page of Wands in reverse. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're almost going from a lack of action to a lot of action, <laughs> okay? A, lot, a lack of action to a lot of action with this person. And let's clarify this Seven of Wands. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So to me, it's just like it's an opening up. They're going to open up to you. Okay. I feel like they're going to open up their heart chakra. That's what I'm getting. Mm. Okay. Okay. So I'll put those cards aside and we'll take a look at your feelings. Let's take a look at your energy. Um, what do I feel like working with? I'll stick with the light seers tarot. Just giving them a bit of a shuffle.
Spirit, please show us the energy of Aries towards this person or within this connection at this time. Please show us the energy of Aries in regards to this person. Please show us the energy of Aries this week in regards to this connection, this person. Yeah, look at this, you've got the wheel. Okay, you're ready. You're ready for a new beginning. Okay, you're ready for a fresh start. That's the wheel. All right, tell us more. Two of Swords. Two of Swords is telling me here that there's been a block in communication. Okay, but I feel like with the wheel and the star card here, big Aquarius energy, I feel like with the wheel and the star card here, that you're hoping for this to change. Okay, this, this to me is a block in communication. There's been some kind of a block in communication. But regardless of this block in communication, the star card is telling me here that Aries, you're still feeling very hopeful. Okay, you're still feeling very positive about this connection. Can we clarify the Two of Swords? Can we please clarify the Two of Swords? See, like you, you opened up this reading with the High Priestess card, with the Wisdom card. So your intuition is telling you what you already know. But the Two of Swords here could be you getting in your own head about it, feeling like you can't maybe trust your intuition. But I'm, I'm coming in to confirm you that you can trust your intuition. So if your intuition's been telling you to hang in there or hold on, um, or you're going to hear from this person very soon, then you're right. Okay, you're absolutely correct. The Two of Swords would just tell me here that you're too, too much in your head about it. Yeah. You're, you're telling yourself with the Six of Pentacles, oh, maybe this person isn't interested in me. Maybe they don't want a relationship. Um, maybe I have stronger feelings for them than they have for me. That, that's what you're that's what you're telling yourself or that for some of you if you're going to be honest that's what you're admitting to yourself yeah and because this person hasn't been showing up in the connection in the way that you would like them to it's creating maybe this little bit of doubt in your mind but your mind is your ego your you know better your heart is saying something else here with the owl wisdom over here okay so you've got to trust your intuition here Tell us more about this star card. What's this star card about? Tell us more about this star card. Yeah. <laughs> Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Sagittarian energy here for some of you. But uh, look, it's undeniable. You are very attracted and drawn to this person. That is no word of a lie. Okay. If you're not attracted to anybody right now, then it's not your reading. But there is someone here very clearly that you find very attractive. Um, you're drawn to them. This person is very charming, um, is good looking. And you're hoping here, look at this, you're hoping here that this person takes action towards you. Towards you. You're hoping that they come towards you. Okay, it's, a, it's something that you desire right now. Mmm, Aries. What 
what's this wheel? Tell us more about the wheel of the wheel. Mm. This could be with the wheel. I, I do have to say this because for some of you Aries, this will be true. Okay. The wheel, if you look at the wheel here, we've got many different wheels. So this could be someone that you feel maybe pops in and out of your life. You know, maybe you've been through many cycles with this person already. Maybe you've known them for quite some time already. But with the Knight of Wands, he can be known as an inconsistent knight. But remember in their energy, I saw more consistency coming in. Let's just clarify this wheel. Tell us more about the wheel. Tell us more about the wheel. Tell us more about the wheel. The Ace of Wands. It is in the reverse. So the wheel is, it's almost like, yeah, it's like that star energy to me. It's like you're hoping for this person to come back around. The Ace of Wands in reverse tells me here that uh, currently there's no action taking place or this person isn't taking action, but you are hoping that they do with the Knight of Wands. Um, you're hoping that they do, but the Ace of Wands in reverse is also telling me here, look, Rosa, if they don't, if they don't come in soon, then I'm not going to wait around. That's what you're saying to me. You're saying, look, if, if they don't come in soon, if I don't hear from them, I'm not going to wait for this person anymore. Because for some of you Aryans, this person keeps doing this. They keep coming in uh, and they keep leaving or they keep going hot and cold with you. Um, you're saying to me, look, I'm only going to wait so long and that's it. I'm done. Because the Ace of Wands in reverse is telling me here that you're starting to grow impatient. Okay, you're starting to uh, lose interest. Yeah, what's at the bottom of the deck? The Sun card. Wow. We've got the Sun card almost like coming in twice here. Look at that. Twice. Um, but this is big Leo energy for me because Leo is ruled by the sun, but you could be dealing with another fire sign. For some of you Aryans, the sun card does speak to happiness and joy and all of those beautiful things, but I feel like you're looking for clarity. Okay. You're looking for clarity. You're looking for a sign. You know, you're waiting for this person to give you a strong sign. Look at this, two of cups. You're waiting for them to give you some kind of attention. Okay. But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands here, you're not you're only going to wait for so long. If they don't come in and give you the attention that you deserve, then you're just, yeah, you're going to move on. But Look, they had the Two of Cups in their energy and you've got the Two of Cups in your energy. So there is definitely a special bond that you and this person share. You really get each other. Okay, I feel like you really fuel each other or you really light each other up. You really fire each other up in a very positive way, especially when you come together. I also see these two cards as you're looking forward to catching up with this person. Okay, you're looking forward to seeing them. It's almost like you, you can't wait. You're, you're, you're over the moon. You're excited. Interesting. And the sun could be a Gemini too, I have to say, Aries, because the sun is in the sign of Gemini at the moment. So for some of you, this is a strong Gemini. All right, let's grab a last parting message. I'm going to use my new moon cards. Um, 
it's more of like confirmation or just whatever you need to hear let's see what these cards have to say just to close out this reading thank you for watching the video to the very end aries you know who you are i love you lots thank you so much for all of your support don't forget to give us a thumbs up if this reading resonated with you or at the very least you got some clarity um, around your current situation and if you would like to join me on the socials i am on instagram and tiktok you will find the social links in the show more section below oh these are big cards all right let's grab a card what does it say here it says practice gratitude to reveal the good in your life practice gratitude to reveal the good in your life so for some of you Aries, um, this person may be coming in um, showing their appreciation for you. That's what I'm feeling like. They're coming in being very thankful, being very grateful, uh, showing their appreciation towards you or for you, uh, something of that nature. And you know the saying, when you focus on the good, the good get better. So that's where I'm leaving it, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And until my next video, take care. Bye, guys.